Ladies, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Tuned In with the TKB Report. I'm your host, K. Langevine, and today's guest is one of Jersey's own, uh, on his way to legendary status, uh, came up through the ranks, you know, from, you know, partly my hometown, you know, Irvington, you know, I got roots at Irvington, born and raised in North, you know what I mean, got time spent in Irvington, you know, this brother came up from the GK Knights to, I believe, barely yell at high school, yeah. and then he went on to college to do some great things, and Ended up in the league, every little kid's dream. Uh, went through some trials and tribulations, but he's on his way back. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome to the show, Mr. Kareem Huggins. <laughs> you know. what's, what's going on, man? How, how's everything going? Hey, man. Listen, man. <laughs> I'm out here, here trying to make it like everybody else, man. I hear you, man. Thank you for having me on the show, man. Just hey, man. Listen, glory, man. listen, man. Listen, man. Thank you for thank you for joining me, man. You know yeah. what I mean. You are, I forget what number guest you are, man. But every guest is special. You know what I mean. And this go. one, this is this one is endeared to me because, you know, I, I everybody loves a comeback story. Yeah. And uh, you know, we we spoken off the air quite a bit. Uh, you, you've you you've shared with me some of your 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 trials and tribulations and some of your your goals uh, trying to get back to you know your your prominence. Um, so. You know, I did a little bit of an intro. I just want you to tell the people, you know, uh, a little bit about yourself, man. I, I mentioned GK and all that. I want you to tell the people your, how you rose from, you know, a kid in Irvington all the way to, you know, the National Football League, man. Well, yeah, man, just just coming from Irvington, man. Well, I was, I was born in North, and my family's my fam from North, but I moved to Irvington. And uh, just coming up in, in the Irvington Golden Knights, Pop Warner, I mean, that's just that's just a, a program that just puts out athletes and just produces kids that are respectful, you know, um, kids that, you know, they teach us how to work, teach us about character, teach us about pride, teaching us about just teamwork. And so I grew up, you know, playing for the old Irvington Golden Knights and just kind of one of the littlest kids on the littlest kids on the team, but just had a bunch of fire, a bunch of fire. I really just thought I was a lot bigger than what I was, you know, like I was a short, a short kid, like I said, smaller than probably everybody else, but, it, you know, in, in my mind, I was bigger, bigger than the biggest kid, so started off at Irvington, the Golden Knights, and um, after that, just playing, um, I got, you know, um, opportunity to go play at Bailey Other High School in Madison, New Jersey, and so that whole, that whole um, dynamic was a lot different, because, you know, coming from Irvington, New Jersey, uh, to go to you know, Bailey Other in Madison, New Jersey. That was a whole nother, a whole nother experience for me. So, um, after that, going went to play on at Hofstra University. Um, when I got there, my my thing was, you know, I, there was so many good athletes that I I wanted to play right away. So I, I played as a freshman, started punt return, kick return, uh, played really well. Played all four years as a played all four years from freshman on, and uh, as a senior, did really well. And um, after that, it just just really just growing in the Lord, praying, believe God to play in the NFL. Went to went to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as a tryout guy. I was it was uh six guys there, six other backs were ahead of me per se. And I was just a tryout guy, but I just went down there just with that urban and toughness and just believe that the Lord had me in a place or had me in that place for a reason. End up, you know, um first being um a tryout guy to end up splitting time with the start running back my second year, man. So it's just it's been a journey of just people just kind of – or just being the smallest guy and just having to prove myself and having to work harder than a lot of other people. But, you know, God does things for a reason. So I'm I'm really grateful for the things that I've gone through, you know, so. Well, shout out. Shout out to GK. GK all day. Shout yeah, out to the Steele family. Uh, Mr. Steele, Mr. Steele. Um, all day. I, I love him like my own parents. Um, shout out yeah. to Kyle. It's one of my, you know, best friends, you know, part business partner now. Shout out to Doc. Uh you know, shout out to, you know, that, that, that whole program. Uh, yeah. I, I wanted to show you the, the clips that, that I had of, of you in, um, uh, in the league. Uh, and 
this is going to be kind of funny, but you know, and shout out to everybody who's tuned in right now. For those of you who know me, those of you who don't, I'm K. Langevin. You know, this is uh, you're now tuned in with the TKB Report, uh, and today's host is uh, Kareem Huggins. <clears throat> Looking at that footage, like you fast as hell, right? So, <laughs> pe people who run that fast, people who run that fast, right? They either running from something, or they running to something, uh, and and I don't mean it literally, like in a metaphoric way. Like, like what is it about the game? What is it about the sport that drew you to it? Uh, and, and where did that passion and that desire and that drive uh, come from? Uh, to me, just growing up, man, I think, I think coming from where I'm from, Irvington, New Jersey, it's, 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 not, the, it's not the nicest environment. It could be it, – it, it's, there's some challenges in Absolutely. that environment. So – um, by God's grace, a lot of stuff, a lot of times, I, w I would say I, it was a little bit of both. I was running towards something and trying to want to stay away from something else. You know, I was uh, coming from Irvington. I was, uh, you know, my friends, we were all, you know, doing the wrong thing here and there. But um, I just believe that what God put inside me was bigger than what anybody could tell me. Like, I just believe God gave me the dream to get to the NFL. And I saw the NFL as an opportunity to help my family out, help my mom out, help my sisters out, you know, like, uh, my, you know, my, my, my parents were together for a short time. And so, you know, they got into it a little bit, got some fights here and there. And my, my mind was, you know, I could help my mom and help my sister. Um, you know, if I go after this dream, go after this vision, I believe the Lord gave me. So I was really just trying to run to get to the NFL to help my family, just help my sister. Um, and also, you know, like I said, it was, it was gangs and, you know, people doing the wrong things. And I, I, I did, I did some of the wrong things too, but I felt like if I, if I get to that vision, I, if I, if I, you know, work hard and run toward that vision, then it'll, it'll take me out of some of these situations that I was, you know, faced with, you know, and not to say that I didn't want to be faced with them, but you know, when you got a goal, you know, it takes precedence over, you know, going, hanging with your friends, going to fight, you know, it takes precedence over, um, going to want to be in a gang, you know, like it, it just, when I saw the opportunity that what that, you know, football could provide by God's grace, I just was like, man, I need to run to that place and I need to get there. And so in one, in essence, I was running toward there, but I was also running away from the things that, you know, like I said, my parents, my parents, you know, my, you know, get into fights, argue. And I, you know, my mind said, man, I want to help my mom. I want to put my sisters in a better place. So just, just kind of running from, the streets in a sense, you know, like I well, wanted to do good stuff, but I also thought that that wouldn't help my family out. That wouldn't help my mom out. That wouldn't help my, my, uh, my situation in a sense. So, well, 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 I'm gonna tell you, it's, um, it's another brother here. One of my, you know, best friends, my man, Dev, anybody who need an L photographer, divine world photo. Uh, but you know, he from Irvington, I'm from okay. born in North, lived in Irvington. He was yeah. born in East North. Like we all kind of had a similar, have a similar background uh, yeah. if you grew up in this area. And um, there, was, there was something about, like, speaking to you, and now I know, because I don't think you got too in-depth with it, but now I know, like, your, the focus was, was way, way different now. It's, 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 uh, yeah. it's, it's laser focus when you, yeah. when you got a goal in mind that is bigger than yourself. Right. You know right. what I mean? So... Uh, when did you know, right? Like, did you always know? Because I spoke to some of your coaches, and <laughs> I'm going to tell you what Doc said. Matter of fact, I'm going to tell you what Doc and Doc, Kyle said. Doc's yeah. my guy. That was my coach. That was my guy. That was a, he's my pop one coach. Kyle was, he, Kyle was always helping, but he's with the big guys, too. You know what I mean? Doc was my guy. I don't know if it was one or both. It might have been both. Say, yo. I asked him, I said, yo, tell me a little bit about Kareem. They say, yo, the first time I seen Kareem play, I knew he was going to be special. I said, like, 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 league special? They said it didn't shock me at all. It didn't surprise me at all. Doc said, you done, you done chipped them up a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but we'll, we'll, get in, we'll, we'll get into that later yeah. on. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But, but tell me, was – tell me the influence that the coaches had on you that made you believe that it was possible. And before you even say that – did you always think it was possible for you to get to that point? I mean, to be honest, like, to be clear, clear, I, I, I can say this. In the beginning, 
I, I, I enjoyed playing football, but there was some other stuff that I wanted to do. I thought about doing, but football was something that became easy. And not say easy, but it's something that I, I'm a laid back kid. I was a laid back kid. And so on the field, that just became comfortable for me. You know, like it just became really comfortable for me. But, um, you know, like th those guys really, um, like Doc, I would say Doc really poured into me. And I, I, like I said, I was a smaller guy, but he poured into me. And people poured into me. It made me think I was bigger than what I was. Mm. And I, I, I could also say that. I believe me. I wanted to play in the NFL so bad. I believe that you know at the time I didn't know, but I know the Lord gave me that vision, the 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 the, the, the dream to play in the NFL. But at the time, it just seemed so real to me. Like it just, I had a Cowboys locker. I was a Cowboys fan. I had a Cowboys locker. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> I had a Cowboys locker. I had a Cowboys leather jacket. I had Emma Smith jersey. But it wasn't just necessarily because I was a fan. It's because okay. I'm going to be there soon, so let me just I'm, – I'm getting my mind prepping for what's to come. You know, yeah. like, that that was my mindset. And I, I felt like it wasn't too big for me, you know. And, like, a lot of people say, like, you know, did you have to – I, I, I shouldn't say that. Not that I didn't think I would get there. It's just that I just believe that that dream was so real to me that I began to – I went from playing on the streets with my friends and, and playground and on the field, tackle, to, like, all right, listen, in high school and – a little bit before high school, like, all right, man, I ain't trying to get hurt in high school because I, I got to get to the league. I got to I gotta be good in high school so I can be good in college so I can do well to make it to the NFL. Like, you know, so my mindset was was on making it to the NFL that I began to start to believe that place, believe that place to the point where it's like, man, listen, I don't care if you think I'm too small. I don't care if you if I'm if I'm not fast enough. I'm going to I'm going to prove what you say wrong. Like, I'm, I'm going to go work hard. I'm going to run a hill. I'm going to go. And so that place became real to me, you know. So it it, it was just, it's just, I, I began to believe that place. I believe that place that God put inside my heart. And so people poured into my dream, like Doc, the Stills, all of them. So so you talk about that hill. We were on the hill the other day. Yeah. Uh, talk, talk about the significance of that hill. Like, what that hill meant to you other than helping you get in shape. Man, I, if I could say that, that hill to me is like, I would say a lot of that, a lot of time, that hill was something that took away, uh, took away something, but it added something. I, I, what I mean by that is that, like, when when somebody said I couldn't do something, I went to that hill, and I made sure I, I it was like I'm gonna prove you wrong. Like, if I ain't fast enough, you know, like I, I can say there was a, there was a run I had when I was in high school. I was running, and I got granted I wasn't the biggest. I was running, and a guy caught me. And I'm like, man. I feel like I, I'm – it embarrassed me. Like, I, a lot of times I can say, like, a lot of stuff embarrassed me. I'll get embarrassed easy. Mm. Or, like, I I remember going to do uh, the bench, and I was only able to do 95 pounds. I'm like, man, that's embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. So, a lot of times, even when I was just going through my, my parents arguing, my dad kind of, like, going – you know, they got physical, like, abuse. Like, I went to that hill, and that hill relieved some of the things that – because, like, if I get to this hill, it's going to help me get to the NFL. If I get to this hill, I could I could relieve. I'm, I, I ran up, I ran up the hill in tears. Like, listen, I got I gotta get there. I gotta help my mom out. Like, I gotta I gotta make it. I can't I can't sit here and um just just wait on somebody else. Wait on something. No, I need to I need to work. So it 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 relieved some things, and it added something. It added the the it added some fire. It added the it added speed. It added strength. It added uh, more hunger. It's like the hunger the the hill was just like man. I gotta go eat here. I gotta eat. I gotta. I'm hungry. Like I'm hungry. I gotta. I gotta make it because people are depending on. Me. And, and now I understand. Like you know, the Lord allowed me to go through things. On, those things on purpose. And essentially, I wasn't. I, I wasn't trying to run to football. I was really trying to run to Jesus Christ. Where that was really just relieve everything. You know what I mean? But at the time when I was in that place, that hill was something that was just a steady thing that I can go help me get to that dream. A steady thing that I that would add to. Um, when I got in that field. So it was like, when it was time for me to get in that field, I ran the hill so much that in my mind, it's just like, you can't stop me. Like, I, I don't work too hard. My mom o over here going through it. Like, you can't stop me. And so that hill added so much confidence. Push-ups added so much confidence, you know, like, to face whatever. And so that, that hill, I, I ran that thing in the rain. Like, I ran that thing with tears in my eyes.